Boom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what's good everybody? We're back, are we all still here? Clout Chaser's back once and for all. Probably for one time more only. What's good everybody? You know what time it is? Get that badger in and on and over here. He's still here, he's still with us. Need a better camera because this one's a bit iggledy pickledy pop, but I thought I would drop back in. Been months to be fair, so I'm not going to go through every single game that I've not missed. I've been watching um, the ups and the downs, some mint results, some terrible results, some terrible performances, some mint performances. But I thought I'd just start head on. Boxing day, so quick shit vid. What was Meslier thinking? So just firstly, it's so annoying when a goalkeeper gets sent off, isn't it? It's like, I feel like you lose two players because you've lost... The keeper, evidently. And then you have to maul somebody off, drag somebody off and bring on another keeper. When I know it's the same, you've still got ten men. And if you lose somebody outfield, it's like, you know, if you lost the centre-back, you'd have to bring Perot off and bring a centre-back on. But there's just something about bringing on the other keeper and bringing the striker off. It's like, so we've lost the keeper, bring on another keeper, take a striker off. It's like, oh. So... What's everybody's thoughts on this Meslier Silent S incident? Firstly, I think it's silly of Mez. Uh, I don't know why he did it, evidently. Um, but he, he's quite a well-tempered bloke, isn't he, to be fair? And he's never really shown many signs of doing all like that. I thought it was just doing, like, just a bit rattled. I didn't. I, I thought it was just going along with it. And then, obviously, that gent comes running over, barges into him, pushes him. And he just sort of throws his arm up, doesn't he? Which is stupid. I don't necessarily think he's meant to push him in the face. He doesn't even really push him in the face. He just sort of throws his glove at him, doesn't he? But ultimately, you know, the blame needs to be laid at Mez's door, silent S. I think the guy's a joke rolling around like that, and it's pathetic. And if Mez had gone down like he went down when he pushed him, he'd have probably got... Well, he'd have probably booked him. He probably wouldn't have got sent off. It's whenever the hand goes near face, isn't it? It's over for you. So it is what it is at this point. I don't think it's why we lost the game. Well, well, no, that, that's not a fair statement, to be fair. That's massively part of why we lost the game. But we was also shit, weren't we? We didn't bring anything, really. A lot of people talking about like squad rotation and stuff, which I sort of understand to some extent when we're not winning games like that. And, you know, they, 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 the worrying thing for me yesterday was I actually thought they were better than us in all departments, as they would say on the panel shows. But I really did think they were they were better quality than us, really, which I've not really thought to, well, too many times this season whatsoever. And obviously, when we played Ipswich, we look far superior. I do think we've got the best side in the league, um, but obviously, we're not, we're, not, we're not able to create enough chances when teams sit in a bit, but I don't really think Preston particularly sat in. They sort of had a bit of a game plan, but game plan was to massively, obviously, get at Archie Gray, which I don't want to, you know, dismiss Archie Gray, because he's been brilliant for us, but he got scolded a bit yesterday by that dick slap, didn't he, on wing? Uh, Miller or whatever he was called. Brilliant second goal. Um, a lot of people genuinely blaming Darlow for their first goal, which just the mind boggles with that. You know, it was just a good header, on it? But poor defending from... Uh, I, forgot his, I forgot his name. Spence, Jed Spence. I think Spence, everybody was banging on about him when he got here. And I do like him, but he's quite lethargic. And when it's not going very well, it doesn't look very good, does it? When he's sort of like pottering about and always looks like he's sort of walking. And, you know, and he does have a yard of pace and what have you. So, I don't know. Not too many good performances out there, really, were there? To particularly, I thought Dan James did well for penalty. When Struick stepped up, I was like, oh, I like stood up. I was like, what the fuck? But it was a good pen, to be fair. Uh, Farke, my man Farke, he did go for it to be fair when we were 1-0 down he sort of always does sort of push and then we held on we tried to go for a win really and then ultimately came up short but I'm still I'm sticking by Farke um, I'm honestly not too concerned the jury's out as I say on the rotation whether we need to rotate more he rotated a couple of months ago and we got beat I agree that the subs could probably be used a lot earlier 
And I don't think it'd be such a bad idea to switch out a winger at the start of a game, every couple of games, really, just to give Somerville a rest or give James a rest or even Rutter a rest. Um, Perot, everybody's saying that Perot needs to be further forward, still saying that. And I do agree. I actually agree now with Farke that this four does work in that formation. We're just not, we're not getting ultimately the absolute best out of Perot. But what what I've found as well is if Rutter's... I mean, Rutter put in a good shift in the second half and he were actually trying to make things happen after we'd made them subs. But if he's not... If they're not... They're either really bang at it, aren't they? Like, Somerville's so mint. But if, if him and Rutter aren't, like, linking up, some of the touches are a little bit wayward and they can lose the ball a bit and, you know, it just doesn't quite come off. It can get it can, can become quite frustrating, so... And then it's a shame Leicester didn't beat Ipswich... Uh, obviously they drew, but Ipswich will. I still think Ipswich will come unstuck at some point. And everybody's saying, everybody's saying we'll get to Christmas and that, but the the championship ain't like that. There's constantly games, two games a week all the time. It's like there's a long way to go yet. Let's just stick with it. If but how we started the season, you know, when we were relying on Cooper to score headers from corners and stuff, and I thought we we're looking in a bad way really, and got beat away, didn't we? One nil when Dan James get penalty away. I I would I would have taken where we are now. Um, also, Leicester and Ipswich have been absolutely exceptional, aren't they? Uh, and in any other given year, we'd be right, we'd be bang up there, probably not top anymore, to be fair. Southampton's just overtaken us. But let's stick in there, boys. What are you saying? It's good to be back. A lot less busy. I've got loads of music coming. I'd appreciate it if you all hit the link below and go follow my Jack City music page, type in Jack City Games into YouTube and I'll pop up. And if you just subscribe, leave us a comment, it's much appreciated. Loads of music coming out this year. I'm back, boys. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Jack City, bitch. Jack, Jack City, bitch. That's why